Hi doll people and welcome to this random kind of catch up video. So it's definitely been a minute. Um, I skipped last week because some things came up with my family and I really needed to take care of that. Um, so I had a video planned where I would actually go over brow anatomy. Brow anatomy? That's what I'm calling the video, but really it's me just showing you guys how I maneuver around making brows on face ups and stuff. It's one of the things that constantly get requested. Like it never fails. There's always at least two or three people that want to know how to do brows and a face up. Um, so I decided to go ahead and do that video. That video is still coming. I'm still editing it. Um, so it's not three hours long. But in the meantime, I figured I would just come on here with my iPad camera <laughs> and just talk. I also want to do a tag. Yeah, so that's going to be in here too. But I have here... Her name was Brianna. She's a custom American Girl doll that I did years ago. She's the first and only doll that I've ever taken to a, a Pride Parade, which is crazy. I feel like I should take more dolls to a Pride Parade. Like my local doll meet is always that Saturday before Pride Fest in New York City. So I don't know why I don't bring a doll, but she's the only one that's gone so far and her name was brianna she needs another name because another one of my american girl dolls have hijacked her name and it's stuck so she needs another name i i think i kind of want to go non-traditional with her name Ooh, this wig is heavy for us both <laughs> recently um there has been like some there's been some bullshit. That's what it is. It's, bull it's bullshit, in my opinion. There have been people protesting LGBTQ people in the American Girl Instagram community. And honestly, it's bullshit. It is bullshit. It's not bullshit that people have an opinion and that they have the right to air their opinion and they have the right to freedom of, of speech. That's not the bullshit part. The bullshit part for me is if you have these emotions and everything, why would you wait the month of pride to to want to spread that kind of information? Like, girl, you got all year to tell people you don't like gay folks. Like, and you want to choose right now to say something? I'm not having that shit. It's bullshit. If you want to see the rest of the rant, it's on my Instagram at Joshua Bear Huggies. I'm not about to rant in this video. But if you're one of those people where you feel like gay people shouldn't be in a doll community, I'm gonna need you to not follow me. Unsubscribe. Block me. Cause we're gonna be gay as fuck. <laughs> Needs a new name. Help me name her, for real. I couldn't bring her down and enjoy the Pride Month festivities without bringing down my boy Ryan. You guys have met Ryan. He's literally the first doll in my Meet My American Girl dolls. Which is crazy, because the girl that you guys just seen with the rainbow hair, I didn't put her in that video and I don't know why. Like she's in the video as kind of like panning across the whole collection you see her, but I didn't talk about her and I don't know why because she's got a lot of memories connected to her. Gobsmacked girl, gobsmacked. Look at this little hat. It's, it's the rainbow colors. It's just a different, um, it's more, it's more on the pastel side, I guess, but it's still rainbow. Like it's still rainbow. All the colors are in there. I promise. It's just, it's just more pastel. I was going to turn this into a teddy bear hat and you see, I already started doing like the nose, but now I don't know. I kind of want to take the nose off and just leave it as is. It's Ryan. We're gonna get we're gonna get to the tag, I promise. We're gonna get there. So along with working around with rainbow crafts and everything, I wanted to paint a Barbie that I've had for a while. I can't remember which Barbie look she is, but it's the black curvy girl with the big afro. Her. I've had her for a while. I have a few of her now because 
my Amazon order was taking so long I didn't think she was gonna come so I ended up getting her one as a gift and that's the one I'm about to show you and then another one I ended up picking up at walmart.com and then and then my Amazon order came in, so I ended up getting her three times. This one right here that I'm about to show you came from my friend Maria. She gifted me her. I finally was inspired to paint the sculpt. And it's so interesting because I was inspired to paint the sculpt by listening to music, which that happens all the time. Um, I get inspired to paint listening to music, being exposed to like anime, um just really different forms of art inspires my art which that's common isn't it anyway i was inspired to paint this girl you can't really see her so i will insert pictures but you can see her outfit real quick look at her outfit real quick real quick just the outfit and then i'll show you some pictures because i definitely took some pictures honey So I was inspired to paint this doll while listening to Rihanna, which is crazy because after I painted her and posted pictures of her, the first thing somebody said was, she looks like Rihanna. And then I was like, she does look like Rihanna. That was not an intentional. It wasn't. It wasn't. It, I swear to God, it wasn't. I didn't even have any reference photos or anything. I was just jamming out to like some Rihanna remixes on the Pride playlist from iTunes and she happened. So I'm not even mad that she kind of looks like Rihanna though because I fucking love Rihanna. So whatever. I ended up naming her Iman, um, short for Imani. And this doll kind of, it's crazy that everybody thinks that she looks like Rihanna and everybody's getting the Rihanna vibe. But this doll reminds me of my mother a lot. Like, which is okay, because y'all don't know this, but I do, but my mama is a bad bitch. So, not that my mama's a bitch, oh my God. This doll, let's do the fucking tag. So here we have Midori, and Midori and I are going to do the Narrative Nerds personality tag or BJD personality tag. There's only three questions and I figured it'd be really cool to explore that specifically with my girl Midori. And the first question is, I've got, I've got my phone. The first question is, what's your doll's personality? Midori's personality is probably more of a Zen personality. Um, Midori's full name is Midori no Daichi and she's an earthling kind of a character she's supposed to be a spirit um and it's her energy that causes things to grow um so not mother nature but she's the reason moss grows over abandoned houses and she's the reason why whenever things burn down given enough time and life will rekindle that's her she's doing that and that means her personality is very optimistic. She, there's something about her that's very content on living and things living. So she's very optimistic. She's the kind of person or spirit that when things are at their most bleak, there's always a chance that grass can grow. Which sounds really ridiculous, but that's her. She's, she's determined to see life happen. So that's her personality. That, and that makes her very zen. That makes her very easy to be around. There's something very nurturing about her personality. Like if you pop a button in public, she's the kind of person that's going to come over and help you fix it. <laughs> Cause she's got she's got the sewing kit in her purse, so that's that's my girl Midori. Um, very zen. 
do any of your dolls represent aspects of your personality? Now, when she wrote these questions, the narrative nerd, when she wrote these questions, she intended on you showing multiple dolls. So I'm probably fucking up already. Just making it more about Midori. Parts of Midori's personality that represents me would probably be the nurturing bit. Um, I know, especially a lot of you that know me from Instagram or have seen any of my rants probably think I'm this super sassy, don't fuck with her kind of a person. And I am, don't get me wrong, I am. But that's just a very small portion of me. A bigger portion of me that you'll probably get to know if you are around me in person is that I am nurturing. I'm quite nurturing and I love people and so does she. So yeah, that's, that's my girl Midori. I love this doll. Okay, third and last question. Do any of your BJD personalities clash or get on really well? So I'm not sure if it's brand specific or anything because they're, they're all you know of. But these three are like tight, like super tight. They hang out constantly on the shelf here. They choose to always be displayed together. So maybe it is brand specific. Maybe it's because they're all Japanese. Who knows? But these three, I'm serious. Like they have like the best relationship between any of my dolls really she's also lumped in there but her thing is she actually doesn't really like peopling yeah she don't she doesn't really want to be bothered which is why she's over there and they're over here because all three of them um are just kind of like those three friends are constantly cackling together yeah and tachibana is like the life of the party while ray is more of like She's more of like voice of reason. And this girl, she's, she's just there to have a good time. They're all kind of like in different stories or even timelines, but for some reason they all, they always manage to be together somehow. So yeah, so them.